Chapter 2 Fundamentals Part 1 Hello World! Java is a programming language which runs on more than 3 billion devices. It is also used to build Android apps and Minecraft. In this chapter, we will go through the fundamental concepts of Java programming. Let's begin! Hello world.java is a Java file. When executed, it prints hello world to the console window. There is no need to understand every line of code here. Just note that system out println hello world prints whatever is between the quotation marks out to the console window. Let's see what happens when this code is executed. Computers can't make sense of the Java code. What? That is right. Programmers can make sense of it. Computers only understand bytecode, a machine gibberish written in zeros and ones. So there has to be a way to translate the Java code to bytecode. Who does this translation? Java compiler does this job. It translates and compiles the Java code into bytecode for the computer to understand. Then Java Virtual Machine or JVM executes the bytecode and outputs the result. Syntax. Let's look at some basic rules. Just like learning a foreign language, to become fluent in Java, you must learn its grammar or its syntax. Rule number one, Java is case sensitive. This means that uppercase apple is not the same as lowercase apple. System out println hello world when written with lowercase s doesn't work. Uppercase it. Rule number two, there are special punctuation marks such as curly braces, parentheses, brackets, quotation marks that surround code expressions. These characters need to be in pairs. Rule number three, end an instruction with a semicolon. Small but important. Rule number four, use spacing and indentation to organize code. Indentation or spacing doesn't really affect the performance of the code. However, it helps programmers quickly read and understand code. People may have different ways of using spaces depending on their style. Use the tab key to indent. Rule number five, you can add comments to your code multi-line or single line. When working in teams, you are not the only one reading your code, so it helps to add comments to explain your code. As your code gets more complex, commenting is a great way to make notes to remind yourself of what the code intends to do.